if you want to get depressed, I recommend the Big City Bus Depot. There is nowhere better to witness firsthand the ill effects of broken dreams. Exhibit A, last Friday. <laughs> Ten people waited for the bus. Everyone else was just waiting. Two off-duty escorts fixed their makeup in the ladies' room, which, like their lives, was in dire need of maintenance. They had that look, hard-working, hard-done-by, and just plain hard. Where are you going? Anywhere. As soon as that ticket guy gets off his break, I'm going to tell him, anywhere but here, and step on it. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be back any minute. I'm Lolita. Eden. Lolita used her work name, so Eden did too. It was an act of solidarity and distance. Want to get some air? I don't smoke. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> you got me. The stars helped them pretend it was a beautiful night. Remember when the Big C basketball team won playoffs? How old do you think I am? About as old as me? You got me. Sig, please. So were you at the game? You could say that. I was one of the girls the team called to help celebrate. No way. I'm serious. I was doing pretty well for myself back then. Man, I've never been so high. Not on drugs, but on life. Those boys were so happy, they almost cried. They all smelled like champagne. Everything did. They soaked their hotel rooms in it. And by the end, I was soaking too. Looking back, I honestly have no regrets. The bad times were tough, but the good times were worth it. I'm full of regrets, but at least I made it. Man, there's so many nights I wish I could forget. Like that time I came back from Montreal a mess. <laughs> FYI, boy trouble does not mix well with mental illness. I went home to drop off my bags and heard my roommates talking about uncircumcised dicks. I'll never forget that. There they were, these spoiled white bitches, no offense, with good heads on their shoulders and good careers ahead of them, pontificating on the pros and cons of foreskin. And there I was, off to psychiatric emergency. Again, when I got to emerge, there was some freak threatening the receptionist, and then they shoved me and I just lost it. Most of my regrets involve not punching people who clearly deserved it. I should have wailed on that bitch. Broke down sobbing instead. Don't know why I'm thinking about it. So what, I'm crazy. Everyone is. How else could we have survived this bullshit? We all have our vices. And we all have our stories. So what now? Where are you going? Oh. I... haven't thought that far yet. No worries. Anyone who thinks they know what they're doing or where they're headed is even crazier than the rest of us. Who cares where you end up? What matters is you have the balls to get up and go. Are you gonna work when you get to wherever you're going? Probably. I like it. Guarantees there's someone to cuddle. Helps me afford my meds. What about you? I don't know. Probably. At this point, I'm down for anything. I've been a cleaner. A server. For a while, I was in an assembly line making car parts. But I always come back to sex work. It's taught me the power of no. 
and the power of yes. It's taught me I don't have to be scared or safe or care what anyone says. I don't know if whoring taught you that, but living sure did. given up yet? Hope keeps us going, I guess. Everyone knows the odds are against us. Optimism can't mean crossing your fingers that your check will finally come in. Otherwise, we'd all be idiots. Aren't we? Maybe. But we're also resilient. Resilience means carrying on, even if it never gets better. Life will improve, if you work to improve it. Just you wait, girl. When that bus comes, we'll get a fresh start. Yeah. It's gotta get here soon. Yeah. Any day now. The most depressing thing about the big city bus station is the buses never run. You can only wait and hope for the break that won't come. At least, not today.